Mr. Pitt's pork pies. Well, I'm not talking about some new savoury product, but a feature of the coastline of many parts of southern and eastern England. And a Mr. Pitt's pork pie is actually a Martello Tower. And one of them, of course, is behind me here at Felixstowe Ferry. Martello Towers were defensive towers built during the Napoleonic Wars. Because of the pork pie shape of these buildings, they were nicknamed after William Pitt the Younger, the Prime Minister who commissioned them. A series of 74 towers were built on the south coast and another 29 on the east coast between 1803 and 1812. And more towers were built in other parts of Britain and in other British possessions. Each had a huge cannon mounted on top in order to prevent French ships landing. They were designed to be in sight of each other so that the whole coast was covered. Eight Martello Towers were built in my home area of Felixstowe. Four of them still stand in a relatively complete form. Two at Felixstowe Ferry, one at South Hill, and one on the seafront. The remains of another can be found as part of what was the Bartlett Hospital. Of the three others, two fell victim to the sea and a third was used for target practice by the army and has ended up in the foundations of the port of Felixstowe. The towers have very thick brick walls, not easy for ship's cannon to penetrate even if they managed to hit it. The small windows and doors above ground level made them difficult for ground forces to take. Martello towers at high vantage points even had dry moats to make them a more difficult target. If Britain had been invaded by France, these towers would have been our first line of land defence. They were never used and better ships and guns in the 19th century rendered them all obsolete by the middle of that century. The defensive tower reminds me of several verses in the Old Testament along these lines. Proverbs 18.10 The name of the Lord is a strong fortress, the godly run to him and are safe. And then there's Psalm 18. We're told that David sang the words of this song when the Lord delivered him from the hands of all his enemies. I love you, Lord, you're my strength. The Lord is my rock, my fortress and my saviour. My God is my rock in whom I find protection. He is my shield, the power that saves me and my place of safety. I called on the Lord who is worthy of praise and he saved me from my enemies. A fortress does two things. First of all, it protects from the enemy. Martello towers had massive thick walls to protect them from cannon fire. In fact, the reason why they're not perfectly round and pork pie shaped is that they're thicker on their seaward side than landward. They're also thicker at the bottom as the magazine containing the explosive cannon shells is there. A tower protects. For Christians, when we feel that the world is against us, that circumstance is against us, we have a God who protects us. He's the strong tower. But if we want his protection, we've got to run to him. And unlike Martello Towers, God will never become obsolete. But military towers are more than just for defence. They're also platforms for attack. Martello Towers had huge cannons on top in order to try and fire on any French ships that were trying to land troops. The explosive shells from the cannons would blow holes in the hull of any ships that they hit and set their sails alight. The death of Jesus on the cross is not one of defeat, but of victory, because in doing so, he gave those who trust and follow him the power to change situations in life that seem impossible. His death was all about making a way of forgiveness, of knowing God, of eternal life. So he didn't just provide refuge for us, but he purchased salvation by his victory over sin and death on the cross. Martello Towers were never used in anger. By the time they were completed, Napoleon's navy had been all but destroyed. And by the time they became obsolete, no one else had tried to invade Britain. But if they had, the battle still would have been costly. The towers would have been damaged, soldiers killed. All military victories 
are one at massive human cost, as we all know and understand. What's significant about the death of Jesus is that the cost of rescuing human beings and giving them life and hope was borne by Jesus alone. He paid the price that should have been ours. The victory at Calvary was purchased for us at ultimate human and divine cost. It was borne by Jesus himself, not by us, those he came to save. If you already know Jesus, then be encouraged that you're already safe in him. If you don't know Jesus, why not trust in him today? Because in Jesus you find forgiveness, life and hope. Well, thanks for listening and may God bless you.